Hey there guys, it's Adam. Just throwing up a quick reminder. If you find this show at all entertaining, even a little bit, even in that, aw, oh, it's so cute because it's terrible sort of way, tell your friends about it. Tell your neighbors, tell the random guy down at the grocery store. Just go to odddadout.wordpress.com to get it all going. And if you really like it, consider clicking that little donate button in the corner. You'll be glad you did. Not as glad as I will. But then again, I'll be able to make this show better, so maybe you might. But anyways, thanks for listening, and let's get on with the show. Hey guys, it's time for your show. Beginning on that old podcast in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1... Welcome to the Odd Dad Out Podcast, a show about nothing and everything all at once. We just kind of grab a thought and let it roll, and who knows where. I'm Adam Higgins, your Odd Dad Out, and let's get the ball rolling. All right. Tonight, it's kind of, it's the first show of the new year. Happy 2016. That being said, I kind of want to give a quick kind of rundown over the last year, kind of a quick wrap up. Some stuff is show relevant, some of it isn't. And then we'll get into what I want to do with the show in the upcoming year. So let's kind of jump back to the beginning of the year, I guess. Quick wrap. Beginning of the year, my wife and I was about this time actually we found out that we were pregnant with boy number four. Boy number four. <laughs> Simple enough. Um, you know, my brothers moved away. Another brother graduated. You know, starting college. You know, that's been my year. My personal year outside of the show, you could say. Um, come the summer, it was that, that was the point when I decided I'm going to start a podcast. And I basically went to my family and friends and everybody and said, hey, I'm thinking about starting a podcast. And everybody said, oh, great. So what are you going to do? <laughs> um, and basically all I had was what essentially we have now. Um, it was just kind of I'm, I'm, I know a lot of things about a lot of things. And and I, I, I'm not so overwhelmingly passionate about any single thing. So it makes it a little difficult on my part. But that being said, everybody kind of was really supportive of the idea. So we kind of rolled with it, um, which turns into, okay, well, then what's your show going to be? Or what's it going to be called? And my wife literally sat there while I was at work one weekend, plugging number, or numbers, plugging names into browsers and Google searching Every dad something, something name she could come up with until we kind of spun it into this, into the odd dad out, uh, you know, odd man out, odd dad out. If you haven't figured it out after 11 episodes, I'm sorry. Um, but that was the nature of the, the name. Um, and then it became, uh, okay, well, you have to have some sort of a, a logo, you know, cause you can't just be a nothing show. You gotta have a, picture, a face, whatever whatever they officially call it, album art, air quotes, album art. And so we sit there and we talk to friends and family and people we know who are somewhat artistically inclined. And we've got a couple of people that are like, yeah, well, I'll help you out. Don't hear anything. Don't hear anything. Start clicking around on the internet for logo designs. And realize it's gonna, if I were to get a professional design, it would cost me anywhere from 30 to 50 to several hundred dollars, depending on how professional these people are. I'm like, no, we're not doing that. And my wife, you know, because sometimes she just, you know, remembers things. Not all the time. Sometimes she just remembers things. <laughs> she listens. She's gonna smack me as soon as she hears that, I promise you. Um, but she remembers a little something that I drew up way back in high school that's kind of been my personal logo ever since and that is what has become what is the uh logo for the odd dad out podcast 
that is actually a makeup design that I drew for myself that I've used like every Halloween since like my sophomore year of high school. And the actual logo itself is literally a scan of a picture I drew on the back of a restaurant flyer. And I just kind of wrapped it in clear duct tape to preserve it. And it's been looking at almost 15 years that since I drew this little sketch. And it's literally just a scan of that little picture that I drew that is actually the logo. One of these days I'll get around to having it professionally cleaned up and everything. But for now, that's literally what you look at whenever you see the show. Um, but that's all I had. That's all we had to start with for the show. We had no formal idea of, hey, this is what the format of the show, what sort of stuff am I going to talk about? I, nothing. And, you know, this is what I kind of called my, my haphazard development of the show. I'm saying I'm developing a podcast. Well, I, that's basically all I had. That was the extent of my development. I started looking around at, okay, what do you have to have for a podcast? And I was like, oh, okay, you have to have a host for your, like your media host. Where is your show going to exist? And I stumbled onto a couple places. I found, uh, Libsyn and Blueberry and Podbean, and I got a free account with Podbean that I never used. Um, I still have it, and I think I'm going to probably spin it into something else later on, which I'll get to. Um, but I was sitting there one day, slow weekend at work, sitting there fiddling around on my phone, and in the App Store, I find the Spreaker uh, Studio for Android. And it's basically a mobile app that lets you record and publish a podcast. And I'm thinking, oh, wow, there's actually a thing for my phone. So I could sit there and record a podcast on my phone. I don't have to have any other equipment or whatever, really. So I just plug in some headphones and sit there and talk into my phone. This would be awesome. And literally three days later, it was like, and I had to go back and look for the actual date, July 22nd of 2015. Spur of the moment thing, I am driving home from work. I push record on that little app, and you have episode zero live from my drive home that night. And I'm sorry, and I've apologized for this show several times, um, mostly in print, but I apologize again that for that show. If you've heard it, you know, you understand. I do not wish listening to that show on anybody. I leave it in the feed just because it's it's a reminder of where I've been, I guess. It's the, how terrible things used to be back in the day. Or back in the day, as, as Dave Jackson would say. I think I probably do that better than most people. But, uh, you know, I literally, I my sound effects and my opening and my music and everything for the show were... It was literally, I took the kind of canned audience that is built into the app because it comes with some sound effects and all. And I have a uh, ringtone that is like the level up sound from Skyrim. And anybody who's ever played it, and that's like 80% of people, if you've ever played a video game in the last 10 years, you've probably played Skyrim. But, and everybody probably recognized that sound. But yeah, it's your level up sound from Skyrim. And this is, this was my noise. This was my, intro to my show and i i kind of liked it that i still have to go by what i said on the very first show that sound and those applause made this show sound way more epic and way more awesome than it should it, it, it set the bar really high when i had no fucking clue what i was doing i was just i was pulling that show out of my ass and if you've heard it again apologies that you could tell, and my wife pointed out repeatedly, I was I was fumbling for the first ten minutes of that show. It was bad, and you know it it was after you know ten minutes, ten fifteen minutes of a thirty minute show. I finally caught my and caught my breath and kind of got a groove for a little bit, you know. But it was fun, and I knew that I had made the right choice to start the show, and I knew that. Doing that, that was the only way I was going to get, get it off the ground was to just go click, done. I'm, I'm out there. I'm in, it's, it's in the world now. 
I have officially done it. I have launched my podcast. It was the worst possible way you could ever launch a podcast, but I did it. And that was the origin. I was the start of the show. That's why that was so bad. That's why it was so awkward because I had nothing. I, I had a picture and a name and I, and an app and a little red button to push to start a show. Uh, you know, brings me up, you know, months and months later, I'm getting to like, okay, it wasn't that many months. Now that I think about it. Um, cause I, I wanted to look it up, but I, I don't have the date in front of me. Um, uh, episode three, which I felt was like, okay, episode three, fourth show, yeah. zero, one, 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 yada, yada, yada. Episode three, that was the rowdy show. I actually got really good numbers off this show. I got a lot of people listening to me for this show, a lot of, positive feedback from people on this show. This show was probably the most stressful one for me because it was the first show where I ever had notes. It's the first time I ever had a fucking clue what I was going to talk about when I turned on the mic. It was the first show I actually sat down and recorded in the studio for real. And it was recorded the night before my son was born. This was Literally, my wife was in the hospital being observed, and I and I mentioned this during the show. But this, like, my wife is literally in the hospital being observed for delivery, and we're thinking, oh yeah, probably tomorrow afternoon she'll have the baby. And after multiple failed attempts to record the episode, I finally get it done. But it finally gets done at about three thirty in the morning. And I'm thinking, okay, it's not a big deal. It's like there's, I'm just gonna, you know, get on with my day. I'm usually up this late for work anyway, right? So not a big deal. And first thing in the morning, like six o'clock in the morning, show's gone out. I'm doing. It's like, okay, not a big deal. Like I've got until the afternoon. I can rest. Don't worry. My sisters will handle the boys. We go do this. We'll have the baby tomorrow afternoon. And about six o'clock in the morning, I get that call from my wife. It's like. Hey, you ready to have a baby? Um, I'm next in line. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I have no sleep right now. So, of course, call my sisters. My sisters come on to help and they start, they come over to watch my boys for the day while I run off to the hospital so we can have another baby. And the whole time, my sisters are giving me shit. Why were you up so late? Because I didn't think we were having the baby yet. I thought I had the morning to sleep. And, and, and all that sort of whining, just like that. Um, you know, which then, of course, we have the baby, so I gotta have to take a break for a while, you know. And then we jump into, spin into episode four. And the, the jumps that I take, that I took between episodes right now. At this point, things got really shaky. You know, this was, you go from my, I've got everything planned out, and I did a really good show that I really liked, and I really, I held that show as that was the best show I've done so far. And then I jump into episode four, and this is the show that I did with my wife, and that we sat there with the laptop, and we used the laptop mic, which anybody who's ever recorded any audio onto a computer ever will tell you that's the stupidest thing you could ever do. I didn't know this. I've never had a laptop. And when you play laptop audio back through the laptop, you think it sounds good. Plug in the headphones. For all that is holy, please plug in the headphones. You need it. You will find out that you probably want to just tape up those mics and never use them ever again. But I go from what I felt was my best show to audio-wise and I'm strictly audio-wise, was the worst show. Sounded the worst. Content-wise, it was the most fun show I've gotten to do because it was literally just my wife and I sitting there screwing around just talking about whatever the hell I could pull out of my ass, which is what I do anyway. But my wife was in on it, and it was fun to have somebody else to talk to. But audio quality sucked. I've tried and tried and tried and tried to clean up the audio for that show, and all I can do is... You know, warn you. Um, you know, and I, you know, we have, and I had a good feeling on it. It was, it was a great show. Um, but it was still new baby. 
And new baby meant a lot more stress. It meant another big break. And I only had one more show. You know, we did, you know, episode five got me, you know, the, the haunted, the paranormal TV show. And after that, two month break. I didn't plan a two month break, but, you know, consider that, you know, it's basically, I got a three month old. Oh, well, I've got a one month old at the time that I stopped and I've got three other boys. School is back, um, you know, back to work. My wife starts getting back to work. Everything starts snowballing. And I'm also sitting there on kind of on a writer's block. I don't know what I'm going to talk about. Right. As it is right now, I don't typically know what I'm talking about when I walk into the studio anyway, but I have nothing. And it just kind of turns into, okay, what am I going to do? Um, but, you know, two months off and I, I had, I had to get back in. I, I basically just, I made the decision that I was going to record a show regardless of I have nothing to talk about. I'm just going to do a show about, hey, I'm back, and I'm going to get this shit back in, and I'm not going to pod fade, as they say. Like, I'm going to jump back in, and I'm going to do this show, and I'm going to make something of this show, because I don't want to be another one of those, you know, 75% of podcasts that fail before episode after episode five, or completely, you know, fade out, or I don't want to be... You know, was, uh, I think they say 75%, uh, stop after episode five, another 50% of that stop after episode seven, and like another 50% are gone by episode 10. I have beaten the odds. I have completely beaten the odds at this point. This is episode 11. I have beaten all the odds. I have passed into the new year and I've done a lot of BS, but I have beaten the odds at this point. Um, but again, back to the timeline, um, uh, come November, I just, I made that decision. I'm going to do this shit. I'm going to, and I make that promise. Episode six, I was like, I'm still here and I promise I'm going to get it on a regular schedule and enter fucking flu season. <laughs> I think I got two shows in and flu season hits and basically everybody in the house is plagued with illness in a nice, happy rotation. Because I've got six people in this house. So we all just kind of ended up in close quarters. You end up, everybody gets sick and then everybody makes everybody else sick. And as soon as you think it's over, something else hits you. And so I just kept missing my scheduled shows. I've been trying, even right now, I'm a little off, but I've, my target is Sunday night, Monday morning. And I just kept missing it, kept missing it, kept missing it. And it just kind of screwed me up. And I'm, healthy now. I'm all healthy. Everybody in the house is healthy and I'm, we're going to get a lot better and I can stick to my schedule and I can really work on it. I've got a regular ish schedule with work. And so I'm really going to be, I'm, I, I promise this time I'm trying to keep on that. I may record earlier and I may start publishing them later in the week just so I give myself some buffer because as it is right now, I record the show regardless of what time of the night it is. I record the show, I do everything, all the editing immediately and flip it out there and send it out to you guys. And if that take me until 3 a.m. any given night, that's what I do. And it's some, it could make it a little inconsistent. So I'm thinking I'm probably going to record one day of the week and probably release it later in the week just to give myself a little room. Um, now, and we're in, we're, we've now reached the present. Woohoo! We've reached the present. Now, because my birthday was last week, for those of you who follow along on Twitter and Facebook, my birthday was last week. And for my birthday, I bought myself, cause you know, it's what you do. I'm old. I bought myself a new mixer. Now, it is nothing. It is like the, it's like a tea tiny little, and I, and I like it, and it's, it's great. But it's, I got myself a, Behringer Xenix 302 USB mixer. Just a little five channel mixer. I can run sound effects and a couple of mics and headset and things and I can bounce things off of my computer. And it does exactly what I need it to. I can plug it into my phone to run sound effects. It's awesome. 
um, you know, the right connections. I can do a lot of stuff with this mixer. It's awesome. And I've recently come into a couple of new microphones. I got a new headset mic. I got a new little desktop USB. It's kind of like one of those little computer stick mics, but I get good sound off of it. And so with these new little things, I've managed to basically build something resembling a little podcast studio in my office. And I've built a little mobile setup with all the USB connections, the USB headset, USB desktop mic. So I've got all my analog stuff in my studio and my mixer. And I've got all of my USB stuff that I can use with my laptop and take that and record outside. Awesome. And this brings me to, we're in the, to the future. Why? Because the future is now, man. The future is now, man. You know, I don't know where I'm going with this. You just hear the hippie guys say that a lot, you know. But, so, I said I was going to get to, what do I want to do with the show moving forward? And it's, you know, the show title, you know, it's just the road ahead. Wink, wink, supernatural, wink, wink. Um, but my goals for 2016 for this podcast, uh, work on my better audio. I want to really figure out all the nooks and crannies of, of the audio editing and tweaking process. I've gotten a little bit better with, you know, post-processing and things like that. Really want to work on getting all the details down in my mixer and fun little, you know, professionalisms of my show. Um, I've, if you've been listening the last couple of weeks, I have the Patreon campaign going to raise funds for show improvements, which are a big part of what I need. I really do need everybody's support to really get the rest of this going because I want to get really my first priority. I think needs to be to get that official odd dad out podcast.com launched domains cost money. Web hosting costs money. Um, you know, uh, hosting services for the show itself cost money and it's, I'm broke. You know, these are expenses that I cannot put on my family and I'm not going to. And that's why up to this point I haven't, um, you may see probably I'm going to have some like Amazon links and things like this. that will pop up. Um, feel free to use them. Um, you know, Click the banners, click, you know, the Patreon page, donate anything that can help because you know, everything that you could do helps the show. I'm not profiting off of this. It's not going to, you know, I don't imagine, get, I'm not getting rich off the show. I don't imagine getting rich off the show. I just want it to be self-supported if at all possible. But I really do want to get, you know, the official name going, you know, have my own dot com. That's, that's what you're supposed to do. And it goes back to the, where, uh, uh, normal is not my specialty. One of the first things they tell you when you get into podcasting is own your name, get that dot com first. I was like, shit, I didn't have a fucking microphone when I started this. I started this show on my phone. Are you high? Um, but that being said, I still, it's a goal and I, it's something, it's my first goal is to get that done because I don't want to get too far into the show and start distracting people. I want to have my name. I want to own my name. Um, but again, with some of these upgrades and wanting to get the website, be improve the web page, improve the, uh, hosting. I want to be able to do longer shows, have more, storage space because you know you got to pay for the, all the storage space it's like a cell phone plan you know how many gigs do you have and this is basically where i am i've already burned through half of my space and so i need more space to store episodes so we don't lose anything you know um but you know my next you know i want to i really want to Im get better at the social media thing I know I suck at the social media thing. I've never been good at it. The only reason I had a Facebook page to begin with is because my wife signed me up for it. 
Um, the only reason I have Twitter is as a marketing tool. I have it to connect with the listeners of the show. Um, same for Google Plus and Tumblr and I've, I've got like, I'm on most of the social media. I'm not on Snapchat because I think it's weird and I don't think anybody actually wants to see my face, but maybe my wife, but she's weird. But like, so I'm not on the Snapchat thing. I'm not on the Instagram thing because they're, they're pictures. I don't do pictures. I'm not so narcissistic that I would sit there taking selfies and shooting video of myself. I think I'm just not like that. You know, props to you if you can do that and self promote. I, I suck at self promotion. I really do. Um, I, I can't sell myself. So, <laughs> um, it's your job. It's you guys to go out there and spread the word and spread the gospel of that crazy bastard, the odd dad out and tell everybody that you should listen to this show. It's so weird. Um, that's your job, not mine because I suck at that part, but. I do want to try, and again, since I've got the equipment to do it now, I've got you know the mixer and the extra microphones that can handle it. I do want to start having guest hosts on here or like guest co-hosts. Not so much interviews because I'm not an interview person. I mean, what would I interview somebody about? I don't talk. I don't have a subject. This isn't a show about a something. So I don't really have anything to interview people about. But just have a guest host on. Have uh, you know? People I know have family come in just to, to be on the show with me and co-host along with me because it'd be fun and it'd add an extra element of, you know, of something, somebody to talk to besides just me, you know, I'm sure y'all would appreciate it. Um, I'd probably see if get my wife on here on a regular basis just so we can have a fun little night together doing the show. I think she'd have fun with it. She had fun. She enjoyed it last time. And I think now that I have better recording ability, I think it'd be a good time to get her back on so we can have more fun doing this show that I love doing so much. Um, yeah. But, you yeah, know, this, this is what I want to do. You know, I just want to make this show better. I had this vision of this show where I get to talk to you guys about whatever sparks in my head and let that chain and that, that train of thought just flow because that's kind of the way my brain works. Tonight, I have a fucking script. I have notes up the ass for this. I had three pages of fucking notes that I had written for this show because I knew that the nature of this episode was to you know, wrap things up and to almost provide a list. And it's like, I'm going here. I have to have a fucking list. And so tonight that's, I actually have notes and I want to do that. And I'm going to say, I know the, it's the nature of the show that I start off with nothing essentially that I just kind of, here's an idea and I roll with it. But most in the past, it's, it's kind of bit me in the ass, you know, I've had where I didn't have anything. And so many shows I've gone into where my topic of the night was something that happened to me 30 minutes ago. And I don't want to do that anymore. I want to at least have some sort of a thought played out. I may not know exactly where I'm going to go at the end of the show, and I never want to. I really don't. I want to be able to start something and at least have a solid, I want to have a solid jumping off point before I turn on the mic. And... I, I'm perfectly content with letting it shit snowball until I get to a the unpredictable ending that we've gotten used to. But I want to at least have an idea. And so I'm going to be working on that. I'm going to start actually writing notes for my shows every week. And damn it, I'm going to get this shit every week because I'm going to do my best to get these back on track every week. They might start coming later in the week, like I said, but I'm doing what I'm going to really try hard to get them going as a regular weekly schedule. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? Cause I got I got, like I said, I got pages of notes here. I've got to make sure I hit everything because I want you guys all to know what I want to do. Because I don't want you guys to run away. I want you guys to think it's only going to get better from here. And I feel like it's getting better. I've, I've improved the conditions somewhat. Let's see. We've got the webpage. 
we've got the co-hosts. What I really want, I want feedback, guys. I so want to hear from you. If you just like the links, if you just like something, I want to know that the people out there, when I see my numbers, you know, how many people are listening to my show, I want to know you're real people. I want to know that every number, every play, every download out there, I want to know you're a real person. I don't want those to be bots. You know, I don't want to find out that, you know, I've got 50 plays on this episode and six of them are real people. I would love to hear from you guys. I don't need comments. I'd love comments. I would love feedback. I'd love you to tell me everything you love or hate or whatever with the show. But I understand that not everybody's going to do that. It's, it's kind of a, the nature of the medium, I guess, that you're not really going to have a lot of people. You know, you might have a half of a percent really talk back to you and communicate with you. But as it is right now, I've got a small audience. I could connect personally with everybody out there listening to my show. And I would love to. I would love to be on a first name basis with every one of you out there and know who you are and what you want to hear. Because that's that's what you do when you have a podcast is you connect with people for no reason other than they're listening to your voice. You know, the people that do these say that they love hearing themselves talk. I don't really love hearing myself talk. I can't. I'm just capable of talking for long periods of time with no particular direction. But I'm not a big fan of hearing myself talk. I just seem to not shut up like I am right now. But whoever's out there pushing play every week and downloading this to their phone or their iPod or their iTunes or Stitcher or where or SoundCloud or wherever you're listening to my show and you're doing this on purpose. I don't think it's an accident, not but this point. You may have been an accident once, but you kept coming back. For whatever reason, you decided you wanted to keep listening to me. And I love you all for that. And I appreciate every single one of you who clicks that play every week or two or whenever I put out a new show. Um, because that's what gives me the, the urge to keep going. Knowing that every week when I put out that show, by the time the next one comes out, that number's a little bit bigger than the last one. And that next number's a little bit bigger than that last one. And the, I'm still getting people that are still listening. But I want to know who you are. I want to, you know, I want to like on the episode or a retweet or something just so I know you're real. So I know you're out there, you know, because you guys are what keeps this show going. Just, you know, I don't so much care if I have a thousand downloads every week. That's not as important to me as just knowing that there's somebody out there that's still listening. Somebody out there still wants to hear me ramble on aimlessly for however long, you know. And with that, you know, I just want you guys to know how much it means to me that you are still listening, which I've kind of been saying for like the past past five minutes, whatever. I told you, I can just go on and on with no discernible end in sight. But that's what music is for. See, plug the music at the end of the show. You know, spoiler alert, I add the music after the fact. It sounds cleaner. Um, but, let's see. Because i got to read my number. But, see, the thing is, I wrote these notes intending to do this show before New Year's, so now my notes don't make sense. I've got, you know, I'll see you next year. Well, that was last week, so, well, fuck. Um, but... In the meantime, I think I'm going to call it a night because I have been rambling for like five minutes now, but I want you guys to share, spread the word, you know, tell your neighbors, tell your friends, tell random people on you pass on the street, um, tell the guy who sits next to you on the bus, hey, listen to this, 
you know. Um, and then follow me on Twitter, follow me on Facebook. I'm going to get a whole bunch of subscribe links going up and lots of ways for you to sign up and listen to me. I've talked about them a bunch already. So until next week, I am Adam Higgins, your odd dad out. Thank you and good night. <laughs>